I'm one of those men who is not easily moved by a pretty face or a long legs or an attractively clad woman. It doesn't mean I don't find them full of grace. It just means that I've seen many women play with men in a way that's immoral and, frankly, in God's house, considered illegal. But when I met a woman who was beyond compare, I really didn't know what to do other than to stare. And frankly, it wasn't the best timing for me, but it was certainly a marvelous opportunity. The opportunity began with business. And what I had prayed to the Lord, part of my prayer, in a very profound way, was, Lord, bring me someone that I can learn from every day. And with that, I did. My whole faith changed. My whole world changed. My whole practice changed. My whole business did not change because my business was doing quite well and openly well enough for me to speak out there and say, look, you're pretty good at sales. I'd like you to help me to sell. But she was not willing to see the opportunity before her. And she continued to struggle. And that's on her life, not mine. She eventually left the community and left a hole in my life and in my soul. Because in America, we have rights. And those rights are certainly to depart our life and change our life and change our world. But when she left me, it really ripped my soul.